Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial on uh, Mac iPhone programming. I'm making these tutorials because I've found uh, very, very little information on actually uh, programming the iPhone and uh, I have found the uh, support on many of the forums to be extremely poor. Uh, many of the members on these forums are actually downright rude and insulting if you're a, a new beginner. So I'm assuming that um, you have experience like mine, which is that uh, you have very limited programming experience. Uh, I, I know ActionScript and JavaScript and Java and uh, Objective-C and all that stuff was completely new to me. So this tutorial is for you if you're a complete beginner. Now let's assume that you have your Mac and you have a, an iPhone or something and uh, you have downloaded the software development kit which is called Xcode and you should see down here uh, if you've installed everything correctly you'll see Xcode dash code and interface builder if not you can drag them from your applications folder into here so if you want to produce something uh, an application on the uh, iPhone I'd say your easiest way to start is to use dash code so you click on dash code and then you'll see dash code opens up and uh, you have options here for creating different web applications and uh, we'll just choose custom and we'll click on choose alright so dash code is actually just a uh, let's squeeze it all together here dash code it actually just builds uh, web applications so you're using actually you're actually building uh, web pages uh, with HTML and JavaScript so let's open up the uh, inspector and the library so the library will I hope this uh, screen following option on my screen capture software is not going to bug you too much but uh, it's the only way I could think of to get everything to fit on the screen so all we have to do really is just let's just create a uh, we'll just create a, a, a button here just drag it in there and uh, as you can see we can mess with the attributes of this if we wish um, this uh, interface building aspect of things is, is very uh, is quite good and uh, we'll just have this button just do something very similar we'll just say on click and we'll have a my click function alright so down here you'll see that we can insert our code so let's just do a simple HTML alert just just so that we know that we're getting something done all right and then I'm gonna click run and you'll see here we have the uh, the iPhone simulator has popped up and uh, it's running Safari with our web pages in there and if we click on this button you'll see that we actually get a response okay so I'm gonna uh, move over to back to here and um, if I were to want to, if I were to want to uh, upload this to my website, for example, I would go ahead. I would, of course, save this file first. I'll go to test and share. Click on share, and then I can go ahead and deploy it using the deploy button. And I could go ahead if I had a web account here, for example, um, my website there, Digital Sorcery. I could upload the the files to that. Um, but uh, localhost, you could build it on your local machine and then upload the file separately. All you're going to have is HTML, JavaScript, stuff like that. It's very, very simple. So, um, okay, so I've, I've end, quit the simulator. So uh, that is the very bare bones of building your first iPhone applica application. Now, as it's uh, just JavaScript and HTML, you're kind of limited in what you can do. A lot of the whiz-bang effects you're going to need to actually build an application using Xcode and Interface Builder, which I will show you how to do next.